The amazing thing about those who have placed their trust in Joseph Smith, they must understand that he was a 14-year-old boy when he supposedly first had this visitation. The issue is if what Joseph said conflicted with what the Bible says. When I had doubts and I prayed, I did receive confirmation that it was true, but now looking back, I see that it was my self-will. I wanted it to be true so badly. The Bible makes it very clear, no one has ever or ever will see the Father. Joseph Smith probably was listening to spiritual dictation. It's just that he wasn't getting inspiration from God. In the Mormon view of things, our God was once a human being on some earth system, that another God was in charge of that earth when our God was just a mortal. Joseph Smith says that we can become gods. And it's based on the King Follett discourse of Joseph Smith, who, who said God himself was once as we are now and is a glorified man. Well, the God of the Bible says, uh, before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. Do you want to trust Joseph Smith, who is a fraud, a womanizer, many wives? From polygamy's inception into the Mormon church, polygamy has been a part of my family, all the way down to me. My dad had four wives and 31 children. Mormonism is nothing more than placing your trust in a man. It's simply a story that has been generated, which is leading many people down the pathway to deception and a lost eternity.